Hey everyone, today we are going to look at layouts and how to utilize them to make your app responsive across multiple devices, be it desktop, tablets or mobile phones. So yes, let's get started. So before we start building with layouts, let me quickly show you why it's useful and what you can accomplish with layouts. So I've previewed my screen here. Let me wait for it to load. Awesome. So uh, what I can do with layouts is I can actually control how my fields are displayed in each screen. For example, it makes sense to display four info cards together side by side in my desktop screen. But will it make sense to display four side by side in a mobile screen? Definitely no, because I want to display it one below the other because the width of my mobile screen is small. If I go to my mobile screen, you can see, yes, it's displayed one below the other accurately, correctly. If I go to my tablet screen, I can see that I've displayed two, two by two or two by two grid to accommodate the width accordingly. So using layouts, you can control how you want to display each aspect of your screen to make it responsive and more beautiful across all displays. This is why it's powerful and without layouts, your screens can quickly get ugly across multiple devices. So yes, that is about it and let's get started with building layouts. I'm going to duplicate my screen here. Let me quickly duplicate the screen I have with layouts and I can go here and let me delete everything so that we start afresh awesome so using layouts is quite simple honestly all you have to do is go to the controls search for layout and you'll find it here just drag and drop it onto your screen and that's pretty much all there is to it but actually configuring them with columns inside is a bit more tough and to do that accurately, you need a good visual idea of what you're trying to build. So to help with that, I have an image with me. I have this image with me and this shows what we're trying to build over the screen. I just told you and you can see approximately we can divide this figure into well, three rows. The top row with my info cards, which contain total exits, voluntary, etc. The middle row with four graphs, four small graphs. And lastly, my bottom row with two big graphs. So I'm trying to build three rows and each row has its own set of sub columns which is arranged differently, but we'll get to that later. So first for my main layout or for my main outermost layout, I need three rows and let's quickly get that fixed. So I go to my controls, I search for a column and I drag and drop that in, inside of my layout. Why column and not a row? It's easier in our studio we only have a column control and using that you can customize everything how your rows and columns should be arranged i'll explain that in a minute so you go to the settings here in the property and instead of one since we discussed that you want three change the number to three so the individual sizes display like configure for each device how do you want to size your columns i'll explain that in a minute so the number 12 represents the full width of the screen. So if I put a 12, 12, 12 in phone, that means it's going to occupy each column is going to occupy the full width of my phone. And if I go to my mobile view, I can view that you can see three columns have been made one below the other because it's been set to 12, 12, 12. Each column is occupying the full width. So naturally, if I apply six, it is going to take half the width of my screen. So for example, here you can see in my desktop or maybe in my mobile landscape mode you can see it's 1266 so my first column since it's set to 12 is occupying the full screen my next two columns since it's set to 6 and 6 is occupying half the screen each so that's how you configure and play around with those numbers if you want to occupy the full screen put 12 if you want it to occupy half use 6 if you want 4 columns to occupy 1 fourth screen then put 3333 3, 3, 3 across all of them as simple as that but currently in all of our devices we want three columns one below the other so hence we are just going to set 12 12 12 everywhere right 
So all my devices now have three columns, one below the other. So first column is where we are placing our info cards. Second column is where we are placing our small graphs, four graphs. And third column, as you can see in this image, we are placing our two big graphs. So now I just have to drag sub columns inside these three columns and well start setting everything up. So let's start building the first column first or in other words the row which contains the info cards my four info cards so if you notice this particular rows has four sub columns for each of the card so let me just do that i'm going to go to controls drag a column inside my first column go to the settings and set the number of columns to four because it has four sub columns and again this is where you configure uh, how it should be sized in each of the device so let me first go to my phone for my phone it makes sense yes i want to display the four cards one below the other so i'll leave it as it is 12 12 12 12 for my mobile landscape view i want to display it in a two by two grid so what i'm going to do is keep a six 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 so you can notice in the screen how it's been rearranged my info cards are been placed in a 2x2 grid so in my tablet too i want a 2x2 grid so again in my tablet i'm going to change all these values to 6666 so each column occupies half the screen in a 2x2 format on the desktop though if we see the picture this is a desktop image i want all four one beside the other so as mentioned i'll use 3333 so that each can occupy one fourth of the screen awesome now that's been said let's make a card so for a card again i'm going to drop a one column inside here inside an individual column and each card if you notice has two columns one for the black upper half which contains the header one is the yellow bottom half which contains the value so i'm gonna make it two columns here across all devices i want one below the other so i'm just gonna make it 12 12 12 12 and now i can actually customize the padding and margin too so let me give a good padding across all sides maybe a 10 padding so that it distinctly stands out from all sides the four values by the way stand for top right bottom and left in that consecutive order so you can see in the left hand side I've created two columns for a card and I've given it some good padding. Let me give some more padding for the right and left sides so that it stands out more. Maybe a padding of 30 makes sense. Yeah, it looks better. And I am going to customize my column one. So currently I was customizing my one column, which is the outer structure, but I can go and customize my inner column, which is column one. And let me give it a curve radius. Let me set the background color to a dark one. And we don't want these curve radiuses, sorry. Similarly, we also want a heading for this which we'll insert later but for my bottom column we want the bottom left and bottom right curve radius we want the color to be the custom color i have in my clipboard copied for easy access so that it matches with our theme and yes we almost have a single card ready all that's left to do is put two heading controls in the upper column and the lower column and of course I have to customize it accordingly so maybe put it in the center make it extra bold and similarly heading I'll change it to total exits because that was our first card and change the color to our custom color make the size a bit smaller maybe and uh, put it in the center let me also quickly change this to h3 and yes we should be good to go if we just add some 
top and bottom padding for this column maybe a 10 and a 10 that seems a bit too much let's keep it a 5 and a 5 yes everything seems good except this upper column curl I forgot to make it 0 to make it well aligned and yes now that should be fixed too so awesome we've created a single card and now the benefit of this is what I can do with one column is I can copy the whole control and I can paste it everywhere else instead of having to recreate it so I'm just going to paste the dummy control in my column paste the one column and delete the dummy column similarly just repeat the process so that I can have the cards across all my columns just one last left paste then delete so awesome you can see I've created my column and let me quickly preview the screen so that I can show you what we just built so you can see in the desktop it shows four one beside the other in the tablet mode it shows in a two by two grid just as we configured in the landscape it shows again a two by two grid just like we configured and in the mobile screen it shows one below the other again just like we configured so this is how you go ahead and then build and configure each of the thing so i'm just going to quickly do the rest of it you can see my second row contains four sub columns and my last row contains two sub columns so again i need one column here i need another one column in the bottom so the bottom one column contains two rows or two columns and it's going to be a six by six for desktop because one beside the other and for the rest of it i can actually keep it 12 by 12 and 12 by 12 because i think it's big and in a mobile and a tablet screen i want to display these one below the other so similarly for my upper column which is the middle column for the small graphs i can keep it as four columns because that's how many graphs i have and for desktop maybe i can set it to three 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 for tablet i can set it as six 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 for everything so that it shows in a two by two grid similarly for mobile landscape also i'll display it in a two by two grid and for phone by default i want it one below the other so yes we have set up our columns now i'm just going to copy paste the controls from the previous screen and we'll have our responsive design ready in no time so there you have it guys all i did was copy paste my controls from that screen to my present screen and i have my full responsive dashboard ready if you're wondering how i got the borders by the way you can just set them up by clicking on any column and heading to the border section where you can configure the width the style the color the curve radius and a lot more so that's how i set up the borders you've already seen how i set up the column and the spacing for each of the device and all i did was copy paste some of my default graph controls and we have it ready let's preview it to ensure everything works so if i preview this i get my display correctly on my desktop if I change it to my tablet view, I get it in a 2x2 two two grid and I get these graphs correctly. Similarly, it works for a mobile landscape too and for a mobile device too. Awesome! So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video and learned something useful out of it. Thank you and have a nice day.